like to just send a short message to all group and home employees. As we all know, let's take our inspiration from Second Timothy. For the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. I want, want us to, to, to look at that today. That, that spirit that God gave us does not make us timid and should not in this challenging time make us timid but it, it ought to give us power and when I say power power to take control over our emotions over our attitude and our outlook as far as work is concerned as far as life is concerned and yes it's a terrible blow to have what we have worked for since 1997 and that became first national may of 2006 and then transformed to become gm bank for us to work for that to achieve 300 locations over a million customers with more than 2,000 employees and a wonderful forward look to then become GM Savings and then one day, one day for someone to say this is over close it shut the doors turn backwards well, what I need to say to you is that we may be down, but we're not out. We may have been given a pause, but it is not a stop. It is important for us to understand that we will use that spirit and not become timid in the face uh, of really some untruths. And I want to um, I want to examine and, and talk to you about one particular one. The one that says that we have transferred more than $60 million of customer funds to International Business Solutions, IBS, of the U.S. with no documentation. How possible could that be? And I want to ask some of you, when Kwame Asumini, when he is sitting in a 4x4 vehicle, where did that vehicle come from? Who brought that vehicle down to Ghana? It was the same IBS. The computer that Isa Adam works with. Where did it come from? It was brought down to Ghana by IBS. Where did it come from? It was brought down to Ghana by IBS. The tiles, the tiles that have been used in the auditorium of our School of Business and Technology, where did it come from? It came from IBS. And indeed, when Fresh Pack asked Nano for a Usu, when they are looking for raw materials, raw materials, it is, it is IBS that exports the polystyrene raw material for them to use in Ghana. And Cosmos, in the printing establishment in Elmina, you ask him, 
when he's looking for thread uh, for his machines to do designs um, and so on and so forth. Where do those things come from? You should ask yourselves. They are exported to Ghana by the same international business solutions, IBS, computers, raw materials, vehicles. You ask Joyce, GN Power, where do those yellow ASCA generators come from? They were exported by IBS. And when they come to Ghana, they have to be paid for. And how do we pay for them? And how have we paid for them? We've paid for them by transferring money from Ghana to IBS to pay for all of these items. Each and every one of them is an invoice, as documentation. So where from this matter of transferring customer funds? Which customer's funds? If Freshpark imports raw materials, we send Freshpark money to pay. If any one of our companies asks for something, like Rafaiti Kokono Grove would say, I need some new towels, I need some new bed sheets. When they are brought to Ghana by IBS, then Coconut Grove, which would have money with GN Bank or GN Savings, would transfer money to get that items, the item paid. And before GN Bank came, we were transferring monies to pay for goods and services received from the same international business solutions. So don't let anybody fool you. Don't let anyone come and, and, and tell us untruths just so that they can throw dust in the eyes of the, the general public who don't know what is done. IBS is a procurement company. And indeed, IBS is also uh, acting on behalf of Group Indo, who doesn't know that all multinational companies have a parent somewhere. They pay management fees, they pay for expenses, and so on and so forth. My point to you today is let us just make sure that we know where we are, we know where, where we have been, and that whatever challenge that is there, we will overcome it. And we will deal with it. We can only deal with it if we are all together, if we all understand the facts, if we're able to explain our actions to everyone and let people know that we have done things with the best of governance practices. And we have done things using our foundation, which is a foundation based on our faith. And so I want to end Jeremiah 29, verse 11, which one says, For I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. We should all have hope that there will be a future, and that future will be a positive one. And as we say, Gopindom, beyond excellence.